Hello, class. How are you? Hi, teacher. Good night. Hi, good evening. Good evening, class. Good evening, girls. I think I, good oh, evening. no, sorry. I have also Victor, so girls and Victor. <laughs> How are you? Good evening. Good evening, Victor. How is everybody today? In the refri, in the refri, in the how is everybody? Are you good? Very well, miss. You're doing okay, Janet? Yes. Good. I'm glad to know that. I'm glad to hear that. Um, all right, well, class, welcome to today's class. Um, before anything, I just wanted to mention something. Um, be before we continue, I'd like to explain a little bit about say, greetings, okay? So when you say hi to somebody, let me show you this. Tell me when you can see the board. Can you see the board? Can you see the board or no? Yes. Yes? Yes, teacher. Okay. Good. Let's talk about greetings. Do you, do you understand greetings? Do you understand what a greetings are? Do you know greetings or no? No. No? No, teacher. Okay. Okay, no problem. Uh, greetings are when you say hi to somebody. Hi. Okay. So it's like uh, when you say in Spanish, saludos. Those are greetings. Okay. So in English, we have different greetings, right? We can just simply say... Um, hi, okay, uh, we can say, say hi, hello, okay, so that, that is the most common, hi and hello, hi is more informal, and hello, is more formal, a little bit more formal. Okay, our formal or official. Okay, now, but there's also greetings for times of the day. So when, um, when you have a specific time of the day, like for example, in the morning, we say, Okay. In the morning, we say good morning. Okay. And normally, good morning usually is somewhere around 4 a.m. to 11 a.m. That's when we say good morning. Okay, and then we can say good evening. Sorry, sorry, good afternoon. When it's um, any time between 12 p.m. and 5 p.m. Okay. Now we say good evening okay, around six o'clock. 
to 8 p.m. Okay. And then we usually say good night. When it's 9 p.m. to around hmm, probably 1 a.m. Depending on what time you go to sleep. Okay. All right. Um, so just wanted to mention this because it is very it's very important that you don't get confused with, especially when we are talking about these two. Okay. Um, when we have good evening, be careful with good night. Okay, be careful with good night. Um, I'm going to say this in Spanish just so that it's clear. Okay. En español solo tenemos una manera de decir hola a esta hora. Y esto es buenas noches. Right? En español solo es una manera. Pero en inglés no. En inglés depende de dos cosas. Depende uno de la hora que que estemos a, hablando, ¿verdad? Que el, el Mavicho no es en sí el saludo, sino que la palabra evening, esta palabra, esta palabra evening se utiliza normalmente para referirse a este horario, 6 de la tarde a 8 de la noche. Y night, Normalmente se utiliza para referirse a este horario de 9 p.m. a normalmente una de la mañana. ¿Por, ¿Por qué una de la mañana? ¿Por qué, ¿Por qué le pongo una de la mañana? Porque normalmente esta es la hora en que uno se va a dormir, ¿verdad? Entonces, normalmente la gente no se va a dormir antes de las 8, por lo general, ¿verdad? Y por lo general la gente no se va a dormir pasada la una. Entonces, eh, Quizá la una es como lo máximo. Entonces, ¿por qué enfatizo esto? Porque cuando el good evening es cuando uno dice hola durante la noche a alguien. Y good night es cuando uno le dice adiós. ¿Okay? Entonces, good night no es tanto hola, sino es como adiós. ¿Ok? ¿Does that make sense? ¿Is that clear? Yes, teacher. ¿Ok? Entonces, al principio de la clase... Normalmente escucharíamos más good evening, ¿verdad? Y ya cuando terminamos la casa se puede decir good night, ¿verdad? Porque están diciendo como good night es como, ok, adiós, eh, que vaya, ok, buenas noches, vayan, se pueden ir a la cama, algo así, ¿verdad? Entonces es good night, ¿ok? ¿Está that clear? Yes, teacher. ¿Ya? Yeah? Yes. Ok, good. All right. eh, es algo para que ustedes lo puedan tomar en cuenta, ¿verdad? Para que en un futuro puedan utilizarlo um, y saber cuál es la correcta usar, ¿verdad? Porque a veces puede ser que nos confundamos al, al ver que hay dos. ¿Ok? All right. So just be careful with that. Very good. Very good, class. Excellent. Ok. Well, speaking about um, eh, what we have to say when we say um, good evening, good night. We're, today we're actually going to be talking about how we can ask questions. For example, today I can ask you, I, I, I started the class by saying hello to everybody, but also ask you, how are you? Okay, so these are, these are questions that we can ask somebody how are you? Okay. And okay, so I'm going to start by talking a little bit about um,
couple of these questions. Okay, now when we ask questions, um, when we ask questions, if, for example, I just, I like at the beginning of the class when I said, um, hello everybody, um, good evening, how are you? And I actually used that question. I asked, how are you? Okay, so that is one of the questions. Oh, sorry, just give me a moment. So we usually ask questions like, how are you? That's right. You. Okay, how are you? Uh, or we can ask you, for example, um, are you um, tired or happy today? Okay. Okay, so are you um, are you tired? Are you happy today? Okay, so those are some of the questions that we can ask. Now, if you notice, these questions are, oh, sorry. Are you okay. If you notice these questions, we, we are asking the question by um, using the verb to be. Okay. So we say, how are you? We're using the verb to be. How are you? Are you tired? So when we use the verb to be, there are two possibilities. We can either start with the verb to be, like, are you tired? Or in the case of a person, uh, like say a man, we can ask, is he, um, is he sad? You understand sad? Yes. Yeah, what is sad? Triste. Triste, exactly. So is he sad? Él está triste, right? Okay, so we can ask that, is he sad? Okay. Um, okay, so we always begin with okay so we always begin with the verb to be okay and then the subject And then the subject you, for example. Or he. Okay. And then we use. Uh, we can use, um, for example, an adjective like tired, happy, or sad. Okay, so that's how we normally make questions with the verb to be. Or you can use you can use a question, uh, a question, um, a word question at the beginning of the sentence. For example, you can say. How are you? How are you? Okay. So what is how? In Spanish, 
Let me see how. Como. Mm -hmm, exactly, como. So it'd be, how are you? Como estas? O como esta usted? Right? Are you tired or happy today? Está usted cansado o feliz hoy? O estás cansado o cansado o feliz hoy? Is he sad? Está él triste? Okay. So we can, that's what the verb to be. Okay. And the verb to be is special. Okay. That's something you have to understand that the verb to be is special. Okay. So it, it uses a special rule. Okay. It's using a special rule because it's the verb to be. So it, this verb is very, very special. Okay. This verb is very, very special. Okay. Okay. This is what the verb to be. However, with all the other verbs, we use the structure. For example, um, we normally use the structure. Um, just give me a second. So we use do or does or does and then we use the subject plus the verb okay um Hold on, give me a moment. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. And if we need it, we, we can we can have a compliment. If it's necessary, if it's not necessary, you don't need the compliment. Okay. Okay. That's with other verbs. Okay. So this is this is with all the other verbs. Okay that are not the verb to be, okay? So, algo que quiero que ustedes um, se graben de, desde ahorita es de que el verbo to be es un verbo muy especial. O sea, el verbo to be um, siempre sigue, o sea, no sigue la, la, la norma normal. ¿verdad? O sea, valga la redundancia. Eh, el verbo to be es algo muy distinto y siempre van a encontrar otras cosas con el verbo to be, ¿ok? Entonces, um, tengan eso en mente para que a la hora de que ustedes traten de, de hacer oraciones con el verbo to be, no estén utilizando el, el, las otras estructuras que les voy a mostrar a continuación, ¿verdad? Sino que en vez que ustedes um, puedan utilizar otra estructura. Ahora, eh, um, entonces, pero con todas las demás verbos, ¿sí? todos los demás verbos que yo le voy a mostrar a continuación, entonces esta es la estructura que vamos a estar utilizando. ¿Ok? ¿Estamos claros? ¿Clear? Yes, teacher. ¿Any questions? No. ¿No? Okay, okay, very good. Okay, so I'm going to move this. Oh, because I'm espacio, porque si no, no voy a tener, oops, no voy a tener donde poder escribir.
Okay. Bye. Entonces, perdón, chicos. Ya, tengan un poquito de paciente que voy a terminar. No solamente me están casi ahí como Word. No, yo no con esto. Ok, ok, yeah, I see. All right, so this is, um, like I said, this is with all the other verbs. Now, this is clear, right? This, this structure is clear for everybody? Right? De este, esa estructura ya se la pueden, ¿verdad? Okay. Yes? Is clear? Yeah, esa se la pueden, ¿verdad? Esta no es nueva para ustedes. No, ¿verdad? ¿O sí? No, teacher. ¿Cómo? Ya la conocemos. Sí, ok, muy bien. No es nada. It's nothing new. Okay, good. Now, what I'm going to do today is teach you a new structure. And the structure is now we're going to keep this and we're going to add, we're going to be adding um, the question word. And that's be different. We're going to be adding a question word. Okay. So, Okay. Porque esta otra no tiene ventaja. No puede ser. We're going to be adding question work. That's what we're going to be adding. So the question word is how. That would be a question word. Okay. So. Okay, so that would be the new structure that we're going to be looking at. That's what we're going to be learning on today. Okay. Um, okay. So that's what we're going to be looking at. Now, what are question words? Question words are words that give us more information. If, for example, if I ask you, how are you? The answer is going to be yes, no. Are you, no, sorry, sorry, my mistake. If I ask you, are you tired? The, the answer, yes, I am. No, I'm not. It, are you happy? Yes, I am. No, I'm not. Is he sad? Yes, I am. No, I'm not. Do you, uh, do you work? Yes, I do. No, I don't. It's always going to be yes or no. But with question words, the question words give more information. Okay. So I can ask for the question words that I can ask gives us more information. What are some of the question words that we have? For example, we can say what. And what we use for a thing. Okay, so we can always say what, or we could say a specific thing. For example, what time? What time is it? What time is it right now? It's eight twenty-five. What? What? Um, what? Um, what car do you have? What car do you have? I have a Toyota. What, um, what, um, let's see, what, what medicine do you, do you take? I take, um, I don't know. Ambroxol, okay? So you can say the what and the thing, okay? So we, it's possible to, um, to use a thing here, okay? Now, um, okay. 
So we can also use other words such as um, where, how often, when, um, who, um, which, and we also which we can use for thing. Um, let's see, what, where, why, okay, um, let me see, yeah, okay, so those are some of the question marks, okay, those are some of the questions. Now, do you notice that a what, we have a what and the thing, and we have which and the thing. Do you know the difference between what and which? Do you know the difference? What is the difference between what and which? Quién sabe? Anybody know? Alguien que sepa? No? Nadie sabe. Okay, no problem. I will explain to you then. Okay, so what is more general? Like, um, so what? It, how do you say what in Spanish? Que. Exactly, que. Mm -hmm. Very good, que. So, and which? How do you say which? Cual. Cual, exactly. Which is cual. Very good, exactly. Okay, so, but what we use when there is um, more general for things that are many, there are general and many options. Whereas which we have limited options. For example, if I say to you, um, Give me a moment. Okay. I have two markers here. Okay. I have two markers. Okay. You can see the two markers. Now, I have the marker. One marker is purple. The other marker is blue. Which marker do you prefer okay which marker do you prefer so this means i have options the option is purple and blue we have two limited options so we can say which which marker do you like which marker do you like and that here the marker is a thing which marker do you like Okay, right, we have limited, okay? Um, or for example, you can say, uh, which, um, give me a moment. We can say, which, cell phone do you prefer this one or this one okay so which cell phone we have an option okay that is for the word which what is when it's a thing but there are many options for example what is your name okay what is your name what is Cuál es, you, in Spanish you say cuál es tu nombre, but in English we don't say cuál es tu nombre. En realidad decimos qué es tu nombre. Why? Be, uh, because when you ask the name, there are ooh, 
are many, 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 many options, not limited options, okay? The options that you have for the names, many, many names, um, hundreds, thousands, millions of names that you can choose from. Now, when you are talking about, um, for example, a TV show, which or what, which is your favorite TV show or what is your favorite TV show? The best option is what, because TV shows is unlimited amount. Do you understand the difference between what and which? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Entienden la diferencia todos? No yeah. me digan que sí si todavía no están muy claros. Any question? It's like when I have uh, a two um, pares of shoes mm -hmm. and I and I and I can know uh, which one is yours mm -hmm. yeah the black or the white exactly which one what or which what is the best option what or which which exactly in this case, you use which because there is limited amount. There's only two, black, blue. Does that make sense? Yes? Yes. Okay, good. Okay, now, um, Now let's talk about where. When do we use words like where? For what re, what are the reasons to use where? What are the reasons? Where we use for a place. Okay. Where is for a place? Un lugar. Okay. For example, um, where do you work? I work at Inglés Corporativo. I work at Inglés Corporativo. Where do you work? It's a place, okay? All right. How often is for frequency? Okay, so how often do you, how often do you eat hamburgers? How often do you eat hamburgers? I eat hamburgers um, once a month. I eat hamburgers uh, or I usually eat hamburgers. I never eat hamburgers. How often, right? That is for the frequency. Okay, is that clear? Yes? Yes. Yes. Good. Now, when, when do we use when? We use when for the time. We use when for time, okay? For example, when do we have class? When do we have class? We have class um, on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, four days a week, right? We have class Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Um, so, and when, do you start class? We start class at eight o'clock. 
That is the time. Okay, is that clear? Yes. Yes? Okay, good. Yes. Good, 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 good. Um, okay, next we have who. When do we use who? Uh, we use who to talk about people. Okay, for people, people are a person. Okay, so uh, for example, who who is your teacher? My teacher is Jessica Guerrero. Who is your best friend? My best friend is Juan, or my best friend is Juana. Okay. Uh, why? Why we use for a reason. Do we understand reason? We understand reason? Yes. Yes? So reason is um, so, for example, why do you study English? I study English for my work. Why do you work? I work to pay, to pay the bills. I work to buy food. Okay. So that's the reason, okay? So these are some of the question words that we can use. And after the question words, we use do or does plus the subject plus the verb. And we can use a complement. So let me give you some examples, okay? Let me give you some examples of how this would work. Okay, so Okay. So, what uh, what time? Okay. So, what time? Que horas? Do right from here. Do you subject and then the complement have? What time do you have? In Spanish, it's ¿Qué horas tienes? ¿Qué horas tiene? Okay. What time do you have? Yes, that would be the question. Okay, that's the question. The, the thing is the time. Do from do right here. The subject is you and have is the verb. Then this one, we don't need to have a, the complement. I'll give you another example. Okay. Uh, we have where does, okay, we're gonna use does this time. Subject, she, uh, where does she, um, where does she go? Okay, we're gonna use the verb go. And I'm going to put in the a compliment in the evenings. Where does she go in the evenings? A donde va en las noches? A donde va ella en las noches? Right? So, so we have here where, and then does from does, subject she, and the verb go, and a compliment in the evenings. Okay? Over here, we can have um, how often uh, do we 
um, how often do we um, how often do we eat together? Okay. How often do we eat together? So we have how often, the question word. Here we use do. The subject is we. The verb is eat. And then complement together. Buen a menudo comemos juntos. When, then we have when, and we can say, when does he finish work? When does he finish work? So we have does from here. The subject is he, verb finish, and work is the complement. Who? Who do um, who do I know from here? How do who do I know from here? So who, the question word, so, uh, the auxiliary do, subject I, the verb is no, and complement from here. A quien conozco de aquí, right? Who do I know from here? And then we have a which in the thing. So we can say which um, which doctor do they visit at the clinic? Right? Which doctor do they visit at the clinic? So we have which, and the thing is the doctor. Then we have do, do, okay. Then it says the subject is they, the verb visit, and the complement at the clinic. So which doctor do they visit at the clinic? A que doctor o a cual doctor ven, eh, ven ellos en la clinica? Okay. And then finally, wit, uh, why? You can say, um, why? And then I'm going to actually do something different here. I'm going to make it negative, okay? So I can also make it negative. So do or does can also be negative. So why doesn't it work? Why doesn't it work, okay? And here we have doesn't from the do. And then the subject is it and the verb is work. Here we don't use a complement, it's not necessary. Why doesn't it work? Porque no funciona. Okay, do we understand? Is it clear? Yes. Yes. Yes? Any questions? No. No? Okay, good. So what we're gonna do right now is we're going to create questions. I want you to create a question with one question for each one of these question words. What, where, how often, when, who, which, and why. And you're going to create a question for a partner, for your partner, okay? So you can ask, what time do you, where do you, how often do you, when do you, who do you, which do you, which blah, blah, blah do you, why do you, blah, 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 okay? Okay, 
So right now, create the question in your notebook. So in otro, in otras palabras, vamos a crear, quiero ver, seven, seven questions. Siete preguntas que van a crear ahorita. Una para cada uno. What, where, how often, when, who, which, and why. If you have questions, you can ask me. Um, I'm going to give you. ¿Creen que termine unos tres minutos? Yes. Yes. Three more minutes. You can ask me any questions if you want. Okay, you finished?
Yes? Finish? No? Class, are you finished or no? No, teacher. No? Okay, um, whatever you have in this moment doesn't matter. If you only have two questions, only two, okay? If you have five questions, only five, okay? It doesn't matter. Look at Daniel. I'm going to right now get you to work in, um, in groups, sorry, in pairs. Um, so I'm going to stop sharing and I'm gonna get you to work in pairs. I'm gonna give you five minutes to work with a partner and you are going to be uh, asking your partner the questions, okay? Do you understand what to do? Yes. Yes? Okay, so ask each other the questions. Las que sea, cuanto sea. Si solo tiene dos, solo las pregunte. Okay? All right, let's open up all the rooms right now. Vanessa, are you having any problems to connect? Vanessa, do you have any problems to connect? Vanessa, are you having any problems? Vanessa, ¿tiene algún problema para conectarse ahí o para, para irse al, 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 al cuarto pequeño? Ya no es el último dos. Okay. Uh, Salvador, what do you do at work? Um, I am work, no, I work at American Park. But what are, what, what do you do at, at work? Um, I type in the computer. Okay. 
Which Chinese food does your fi favorite? Our favorite. Um, repeat, please. If you like the Chinese food, which Chinese food does she got the word? In does she what? Uh, she got the word. She, she work in in company Inglés Corporativo. <laughs> Who is your boyfriend? Excuse me, otra vez, por favor. Who is your boyfriend? Ah, my. Mm. Hardly, ah, ever. hardly ever. Hardly ever. Okay. When? When do you go to the bed? Very <laughs> good. Um, what time, what time, what time do you have? What time, ¿qué? What, what time do you have? Do you have? Ajá. Uh, ¿Y qué hora tengo? Ajá, ¿qué horas tienes tú? I, uh, nine, it's 9 p.m. Excuse me? Okay, class. Uh, well, we have the opportunity to um, to ask questions. Uh, mañana vamos a continuar con esto. Uh, so we're going to we're going to make more questions for tomorrow. So homework. I want you to create ten questions. Si ya crearon siete, pues solo tienen que crear más, tres más. Okay. So ten questions in total with different question words. Okay. So where, when, why, how, who, why. Etc. Cetera, Etc. Cetera, okay, for tomorrow. Okay, that is the homework. Okay. All right, everybody. Okay, take care, everybody. Bye. 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 B